I just paid $464 for this storage unit. Let's see what's inside. Woo! This is by far the smallest storage unit I have ever purchased. But as you can see, I don't know if you know what that is, right off the rip, and we saw this while we were bidding on it, there is a whole moonshining setup in here, which is super, super cool. And then on top of that, we got an RC car. There's not too much stuff in here, but the moonshine pot alone, right off the rip, is going to pay for the unit. It is so cool. First things first, let's see what we got here. We got, it looks like some papers. I don't know, what does it say? It says, court papers. Uh oh. What if they got arrested for selling moonshine and then that's why they couldn't pay on their unit and now we got all their moonshining equipment that they were trying to hide from the police. Then we got this bucket which I can only assume is for the moonshining stuff. According to Blake, we have the entire moonshining setup. Everything that you need to get started here. We got a little pot. Oh, we got some fishing rods in there too that just popped up. And it's like a boiling pot. I don't think this is for the moonshining stuff. I think this is just something completely different, but this doesn't even really look good. Oh no! Oh, that's not good. Hopefully nothing broke on that. Right here, we got a, I know it's a burner. Hey. Let you boil like seafood or... Oh, it says uh, Creole Feast. It's a Creole Feast set up with a burner. It looks like it's only been used like a time or two. It looks like really good condition. Let me see what these things are running for. It's like $80 new at Walmart. So for the burner and the pot. So we're going to go ahead and say maybe we can get 30 bucks for the whole setup right there. $30 for the pots and pans for the Creole Fest. $30 on the board. This... I had no idea, but we have found some of these before. These are Traxxas cars. And there is a whole, I've been learning a little bit about these things. These are souped up, super, super fast RC cars. And they fly, and there is a whole, pretty much cult following around these things. And this one almost looks like it was parted out, but I think this one takes gas. But according to Blake, who's like way into this stuff, he said this car, was worth a couple hundred bucks alone, even in the condition that it's in. Can either get parted out or just buy a couple parts from the website. You can get this fixed up and running. This thing probably goes like 80 miles an hour. These things fly, they are so fast. This is the all aluminum frame on this. And just this frame, brand new, not counting all this other built stuff on there. So this was probably a custom built car. This frame new is $600. I'd say we could easily get $400 for this RC car to the right person. That alone, we paid for the unit, which is crazy. Just off this one thing. And you, I never would have thought that. Let's keep on going. Oh, we got some Halloween spirit up in y'all. <laughs> Look at that. We got a nice little jack-o-lantern. Let's see, is he hiding stuff in there? Dude, I hope some of these totes, I hope they have moonshine in them. That would be awesome. That'd be so cool. I doubt it, but you never know. I doubt you're gonna be able to resell decorations. Decorations don't really sell too much, so we're just gonna throw this aside. Plus, we'd have to hold on to it all the way until Christmas, which is just gonna take up a Christmas? ton of room. Cr Halloween. All right, well, it looks like we got a couple fishing rods here. Now, this is something I'm familiar with right here, fishing. Little Arbu Garcia, Black Max. Let's see, it's actually, not too bad. This is definitely like a, a cheaper setup. A medium, 6'6", six, six, Arbu Garcia. You know what? I'd say we can at least get 20 bucks for it. Just as someone who's wanting to get into fishing. Let's see, there's a couple more fishing pools in here too, which we're gonna take a look at here. We got a little telescoping Bass Pro Shops rod here. Yeah, this one ain't gonna be worth as much. We'll say $10 for this one, you know, just the fishing pools. And then we got yet another Rod and reel setup here. It's just a Bass Pro Shops combo. This is gonna be another cheaper setup here. <laughs> it's just cheap rods and reels, unfortunately. I will go ahead and say $15 for this one right here. All right, so we got a little bit back in fishing rods. Okay, this is actually pretty heavy. Three, two, one. Oh, let's go, baby. We got some power tools. All right, that's awesome, man. Is that Tool? a welding mask? It, yeah, yeah, it is. We do got ourselves a little welding mask here. I'm gonna have to look this up. It doesn't feel like a very heavy duty one. It's a Chicago electric welding. But every time I look at the light, it like senses that there's light and then yeah. it goes black. So it's not just like completely black and you have to flick something down. Ready? Bam, oh, just yeah. like that, see? It detects the light outside. See how it just auto darkens like that? That's actually, That's pretty, actually cool. pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna look this up real quick. I have no idea what this is gonna be worth, but we're about to find out. And the best part is, 
it looks like it was only used like once or twice. It, this honestly looks like it was never used yeah, before. Like it it's just a little new. bit. Yeah, it does look like brand new. Hopes and dreams got shattered right now. Brand new, 35 bucks, dude. <laughs> Dang, I thought that was gonna be worth a lot because it was, nah. It, it does feel cheap, but it's brand new, $35, so we'll say 10 bucks. That's pretty cool though. It's, it's like brand new, but we got all these other power tools in here. Let's take a look. We got ourselves no tears on the cords. Porter cable, table saw, or not table saw. I don't even know what this one's called. Oh, it's battery operated, and I, look at that. There's the battery right there. We have the charger and the battery for the saw. Oh wait, that cord doesn't even go to that. I was like, wait, how's it battery operated and have a cord? We got another table saw here. It is a another Chicago electric little saw. What are, they, what are these saws called? These are skill saws, right? Something like that. Yeah, I mean, skill saws. I'm not, I'm not big in tools, so. There we go, look at that. It's got a nice blade on there. It just needs to be cleaned off. It's got a little bit of sawdust on it, but we got, Two skill saws, and I'm pretty sure this is a sander. Yep, there we go, we got a sander. It's completely full of sawdust. But, let's check out the cords and make sure. This is de this is definitely a couple hundred dollars worth of power tools in here. The cord looks good, oh, just for that. But well, we can bend that back though. That's fixed. Just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. These all work. We definitely got lucky here. We got, we got a couple hundred dollars worth of power tools. Let's see what else we got in here. Now this, Gavin was saying this looks like a car buffer, like to some sort of buffer. I don't know what this would be used for, but I'm gonna go with Gavin's guess on car buffer. Different speeds right there. We're gonna look these up real quick. We're gonna see what else is in there. We got a grinder. It needs a new disc though. It just needs a different disc, but those discs are, are easy enough to replace. This one new, doesn't come with the battery, is a hundred bucks. So we'll say, since we got the battery and we got the saw here, we'll say $60 for all the charger, the battery, and the saw. All right, we got a couple on eBay for $35. So we'll go ahead and say $35 on that. I've seen some for $70. $35 is the lowest one I found on OfferUp. So that seems fair, $35 for that saw. All right, well, I'm seeing a bunch of them on eBay for around 100, between $75 and $100. So. We'll just go ahead and say $70 for this. And this is all assuming that they work, which we will test them when we get back to the house. But from the looks of them, I don't see why they wouldn't work. And then this grinder here, I'm just gonna go ahead and say 20 bucks for the grinder because it, it does look a little bit older. It needs a new thing and it needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but that's coming right off just with my finger. So we'll go ahead and say 20 bucks for the grinder. We'll go ahead and say 20 bucks for the sander too. That's a nice little collection of tools. That was a nice little bonus we got. I'm excited to get into these bins. If this guy's keeping his stuff really clean, which nothing looks like it's dirty. It looks like it was well kept, which means that stuff in the bins could be well kept as well. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, I just discovered something amazing. Oh, should I wait? Oh, I don't know, man. Nah, I can't, I can't. Look at this. It has the welder in it. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my God, look, there's more drill bits for that stuff. Brand new in the box. It's in really good condition too. Let's go, bro. Oh my gosh, and this thing is something sick too. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself here. I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, oh yeah. This unit is, we're gonna make some money off this unit right here for sure. And this is crazy, because this is the smallest unit I've ever done. This is a five by five. Let's get this bad boy out, there it is. It is a welder, a Chicago electric welder. That is awesome, man. Look at that. All the parts are here. All the parts are here. It's looking good. Oh, man. Dude, let's go. I'm hyped now. Now we have the mask to go with this, too, so we can sell it as a combo. Yep, a kit. Some of y'all already know. I have no idea what welders go for, but I know the right one can go for a lot. Now, granted that the mask was like 20 bucks, maybe my hopes are a little high, but we'll see. Either way, we're still going to look no. out here. 130 bucks. 130 bucks. That's awesome though. That is awesome, man. $130. Let's go, dude. That's that's a nice little chunk out right there. We're already profitable. And we haven't even gotten into the, the reason why we bought the unit yet is the moonshine stuff. That stuff is really expensive too. So it's, it's, it feels so good when right off the rip you get the unit paid for and then you instantly start making profit. It feels so good. What is this? Department of Army. Oh, he was in the Army. It was just a diploma. Has successfully completed the Army basic instructor training course. Well, inside here, we got a little stud finder. It's a... 
Oh, 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 oh. Hey, we got to hey, start it hey, here. I'm just saying. I'm just, hey. I'm just saying, man. All right, yeah, this is just like a little toolbox, but we should still be able to get a little bit for this toolbox right here. I'd say we get 30 bucks for that. What do we do here? We got like, <laughs> we got a couple things. Let's see what you use more hyped about. Okay, well, it's under the moonshining thing, which oh, we're going to okay. get to in a minute, but we'll just pull this out. We're just getting stuff out of the way here. This looks like it is a pressure washer. I think it's missing the hose, unless... That's what this is for, but I don't think nah. that would go on a pressure washer. Again, this doesn't even look too too bad a shape. You can tell it's probably used like once or twice and just thrown in storage. We gotta find the sprayer, but if we don't, see, I don't even know. I don't even think this is. I think this is something for the moonshine stuff. Unless we can find the hose, I'm gonna say that's pretty much worthless. Unless we buy like a small hose and then we could sell it for like. I don't know, like 30 bucks maybe, because it, it's definitely like a Harbor Freight one for sure, but. Let's get to the, the bread and butter. The reason why we bought this unit. Right here. I was ready to go to war for this unit too. This stuff is not cheap at all. According to Blake. Now, Blake is the, I verify everything through Blake before I can buy these units. Let's take a look at it. I am gonna look this up real quick, but I don't know. 100% the process of moonshining, but I've seen this show before, the Moonshiner show. I know this is a very crucial part of it right here. And I'm about to take a picture of that thing and we're gonna figure out what this is worth. I kind of have an idea after talking to Blake, but we're gonna take a picture and we're gonna see what they're reselling for. I know it's illegal to sell moonshine, so I don't even know if it's legal to have this thing or not. Yep, here's one on Craigslist. The same exact thing, $200. $200 for the pot right there. That's half the unit, just this. No no burners or anything. It's 200 bucks. Nothing. It but it's clean though. Does it it's, smell like it? No, it's clean. Like, this guy took care of his stuff. So 200 bucks for that as well, man. We are on a roll with this unit right here. And we haven't even got to the totes yet. There's no telling what could be in the totes. I'm hoping it's just gonna be full of just moonshine. That'd be so freaking cool. I found this, I don't know what this goes to. This is just like a little pump right here that just like pumps stuff out. So I think this goes with this. I, unless I can figure out what that goes to, I'm just gonna put that in that pile and say that goes with that. I didn't see this either and I just saw this. This is what I got excited about earlier. Right here, it's one of those electric iceless coolers right here. This is so cool, look at that. So you charge it up right here. There's a, there's a plug, we'll have to find the plug. But you plug it in, you charge it, and it's like a refrigerator and it keeps your stuff cold and you don't have to put any ice in there. It's got cup holders right there. It's super, super cool. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit. This is cool. I gotta look this up and we gotta find the plug for it, but it could be in one of those totes very easily. I don't, I know these things are really expensive. Some of them can get really expensive. I've looked at getting one of these before. And if I can find, if I find the plug, I'm probably gonna end up keeping this. $250 new at Walmart. 230 there, yeah. So that's a $150 cooler all day, easy. We just gotta find the, um, the attachment. So $150 for the cooler. And that, and I always try to lowball my prices, but I try to be fair. I don't wanna go, I don't wanna be that guy who goes really high on everything. So I try to lowball so I know the bare minimum of what we're gonna get. So let's go, man. That's freaking cool, dude. And it's like the perfect size. Like all the other ones I've seen are like huge. This is just big enough, man. Once this gets cleaned up, 150, easy. And I'm probably still gonna keep it, but we'll see. Starting to get hot in here, man. <laughs> it's starting to get hot. I thought we were gonna get a little bit of a break because it's uh, it's inside here and it's hot outside, but it is not climate controlled in here. We're just in a metal building cooking. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, we got a Husky toolbox that sounds full of tools. All right, let's see it. It doesn't even look like it's that bad. All right, Husky tool chest, wow. Oh, let's go. Dude. All sorts of sockets and wrenches and stuff. Oh man, nothing rusted. Oh, let's go, dude. Oh, oh my, my gosh, dude, it's complete. It's a full socket set. We're just missing some wrenches here. But dude, let's go, look at that. Oh my gosh. Pretty much all the sockets are here. There is a couple, look at this. He has his resting place in the 5 8 <laughs> Rest in peace, brother. Well, that's good. Let's see what's on the bottom. Yep, there we go. We got some more sockets and screws. Dude, that is a great find. It's not complete set, but it's got the majority of them, which is really good. And it comes in this box, and look at that. Just with my hand, no water or nothing. It's gonna clean up so good. 
We're gonna take a picture of this and we're gonna see what this is, but tools are one of the easiest things to get rid of is what we found. If we get any unit with tools, they are the first to go. The complete $230 set used $250. Now we are missing probably about like 30 pieces or so out of all this stuff in there. So gotta be more conservative. I don't know, I'm gonna say 175. I know it's 250, but we are missing some pieces. We might have those same sockets from other storage units that we might be able to put in there, but it's not the complete set. But I'm still gonna go ahead and say $175 since we have the majority of the stuff in it. We are on a roll, man. I did not expect this. But I'm excited about the totes, man, because there, there could literally be anything in there. Anything. We got some more cooking stuff. Look at that, we got some jumper cables. That's 15 bucks right there. Jumper cables don't even look brand new. They just gotta wash the dust off. This is also brand new stuff. Now this might be for moonshining here. Yeah, it's yeah. the Creole Fest. So this is also, this is another pot for that crock pot right there. We'll go, it's just, it was like a Walmart brand crock pot. So we'll say 10 bucks. We'll probably honestly put it all together. We got ourselves a kitchen aid or a kitchen smith. Kitchen smith little, uh, what are these things? Dude, it's brand new in the box. Hell yeah. Is that a pizza it's still oven? taped up. It is, I forget. Toaster oven, that's what I was looking for. We got a brand new toaster oven right here. $25 is fair. Brand new toaster oven. I might just keep it for that. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Brand new in the box. We got one more baggie of tools here. Oh my gosh. Damn, that's heavy. Oh no way, is this an almond joy? Oh, it's a chocolate chip granola bar. Try it. You want it, Gavin? No. Look at that. There, there's the completed set. It's in here. Look at this. Here's all the wrenches. Dude, this is it. Look at that. A new coal, be coal belt, like drill bits, all still in there. Doesn't even look open. All in there. Here's the rest of the wrenches and sockets that go with that. Since we found the rest of the set here, we're going to go ahead and add $75 so we can get the full $250 for that, which is awesome. We just got to put them all back. And then we got all these little bonus stuff in here, like these DeWalt drill bits. Yeah, we're missing some of those. This one, the cobalt one, is complete. It looks brand new. Like, there's not one drill bit missing out of there. Doesn't even look used. Hey, we got a magnet. It ain't, I know, I know a thing or two about magnets. It ain't no battle magnets magnet. That's why. Yep, and there's all the sockets and all this stuff. This is all just for, what is this? Samsung charger. Oh, it's like a, a charger? Yeah. All right, well, we got a Samsung charger on top of that. So there's really nothing too much more in here. Like there's a couple of these Pittsburgh uh, tools, screwdrivers, but this is all pretty much just completing the set. I don't know what this is, but this is pretty much just completing this set. And we got all this stuff. This I'd say just for the miscellaneous tools in here, I'd say we get easily another 45 bucks for all this stuff in here. Got a nice little Stanley level. And all this stuff is like, dude, like if there's any dirt on it, it just comes right off. And like, that's just with my glove. That's no soapy water or nothing. Now, we get into what I've been getting a little bit excited for. I don't know if I've been hyping it up. Oh yeah, there's stuff in there for sure. We got our first of three totes coming down. We're gonna see what we got in. Oh, oh they got wheels. That's gonna make it so much easier. One, two, three. Oh no, it's Christmas Yay. lights. Oh, that, that's disappointing. I'm not even gonna lie. That's pretty disappointing. Christmas lights, it smells horrible in here. This is all Christmas stuff. There's a blow up Santa Claus in here. There's a there's a reindeer. Oh, dude, actually, you know what? These inflatables actually kind of go for a lot. Oh, yeah, they do. Dude, all right, we got the whole, look at this, bro. Oh, that's the- It's the, it's a, like, it does the- Fog? No, not the fog. It, you know the lazy people that don't feel like putting up Christmas lights? Oh, yeah, and they, they like, do the sparkle things around the house. on the houses. Yeah. That's what that is. Dude, we got the festive Christmas starter pack here. All right, you know what? I'll have to look up. I know like lights and stuff, that's not that's not any good, but those inflatables I know are like they go for a lot. As long as there's no rips the in them too. It's got everything to get started. I'm gonna say fifty dollars for this with all those inflatables in there. I counted at least four inflatables. So fifty dollars. I know decorations are really hard to resell, but I feel like if we held on to this to December, we could probably get even more than fifty bucks for it. If we just sell, sold them on Marketplace. Please don't be more decorations. I'm gonna be, dude, I swear, if this is like Easter and then Halloween, Halloween I'm gonna yeah. be so upset. I was just thinking about I'm that. I'm gonna be so all upset seasons this and... is all decorations. All right, what are we working with? No, it is, <laughs> dang it. It's all decorations. Heck no. Oh man. 
We got Halloween decorations the Halloween. right there. Yo, look at this. We got human remains in here. Oh, there's a couple. Is that a mask? Oh, there's another blow up. Blow up. What is this? Oh. It's like a foot. Look at this. Dude, they even go. Who puts up lights on Halloween? A lot of people. Really? I've never seen them. Well, we got Halloween decorations now. I know what this one is. <laughs> yeah, I, I bet you 20 bucks it's Easter. Or Thanksgiving. My money's on Easter. Y'all take a guess down in the comments right now what you think those decorations are. Because it's only got to be a couple, and I, I'm pretty confident it's going to be decorations. So, I, my money's on Easter. Three, two, one. Oh, oh we, was both we were both wrong. wrong. We were all wrong. <laughs> Dude, I swear, if, if one of y'all gets closed down in the comments, that was impressive. Any good type? These are all good quality clothes here, though. We got any Gucci in here? Dang, he's got the whole fit, bro. Yeah, it's all just clothes, dude. I thought for sure this was about to be decoration. Oh, man. Well, that's going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. If you guys have made it this far in the video, comment moonshine down in the comments so I can see how many of y'all made it to the end of the video. Anyways, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.